Hi everyone. I've been asked by many people, where do I get my lovely t-shirts from? And I'll put a link in the description. They're made by a friend of mine, a dear friend, Jim McCaird, in England. And he runs a lovely site called This Is Not Zen. Anyway, lots of, lots of good stuff to be had there. Today, I'm going to show you an exercise which I think has some advantages over the shoulder pushdown, which most of you are familiar with, where a partner leans on your shoulders from behind and helps you lower the shoulders and we, there are contractions and other things to open up this space here. But the version of the exercise we're going to do today, which is happily is a solo version as well, allows you to adjust the pulling down effort in the arms beautifully and incredibly precisely and we'll show you how to do that in a second. But one of the reasons I prefer this version over the shoulder pushdown, although the shoulder pushdown also has some lovely aspects to it, is that because of the way we arrange the forces, the shoulder being pulled down by leaning away from the hand, um, and also we're going to use our fingers to move the neck and the head in various ways, you can position the location of the stretch literally microscopically, for almost fiber by fiber it feels like, and it allows you to get a stretch that in my experience anyway, you won't be able to get any other way. So let's look at this now. I'm going to move myself sideways and the reason for that is as you can see my arms are fairly long in relation to the length of my spine and you may need to shift more or less depending on your own proportions. I'm holding the base of the chair here like this. I sit up nice and straight. I bring my chin in slightly as well. I take a breath in and on a breath out I simply slowly lean to the side like this and that's the first part of the exercise. If you watch my shoulder here, and I'll just exaggerate the speed of the movement, leaning to the side pulls the shoulder down and you can control this perfectly. So I'll lean a bit further. You might feel it in the shoulder, you might feel it in the neck, or you might even feel the sensation in your arms. They're all good. Next, I recheck my posture, bring the chin in a tiny bit and reach this arm out and put just two fingers above my head like this and while leaning to the side, I add this side neck movement to it. Adding the neck movement to it concentrates the stretch in the neck beautifully. And notice I just turn my head a little bit. I'm actually searching for today's tight line. And today that line is here, so I'm sort of looking in this direction. Now, that is it. Okay, I'm going to give you all the contractions now in detail. The first contraction is I'm trying to lift the base of the seat up, as in pulling up on my arm like this. But because I'm leaning to the side, nothing happens. It's an isometric contraction, in other words. Three, two, one, stop. I breathe in. I let my tummy go completely soft. I breathe out. I breathe in again and I move body and arm and head to the side like this. That intensifies it hugely, even though I only moved a few millimeters. I get used to that sensation. Then, against these two fingers, I press my head back to the upright position. Again, nothing moves if you're doing it properly. Three, two, one, stop. I always take my fingers off the head completely in between while I'm breathing and relaxing. Breathe in, let the tummy go soft, breathe in again. And watch very carefully add this additional neck movement to the first position. I'm also moving myself backwards and forwards very slightly to put the stretch in exactly the position I want it now. Also, if you've been stretching for a while, you can add both contractions together. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm shrugging the shoulder and I'm pressing the fingers or pressing my head into my fingers, I should say. So two contractions together. I stop, take a breath in, let the tummy go soft, take another breath in and watch lean further away as well as take the head further to the side. And you can probably see that gentle contraction increase the position, the end position, considerably. And I breathe in and out, and you'll notice that as I breathe in, 
the body comes upright slightly and as I breathe out we go a bit more to the side and that increases the stretch as well. Absolutely lovely. Now watch, I'm going to move the fingers around to the back of my head or at least halfway between the back of the head and the side and watch, I'm going to look down now. I'm aiming here and I'm going to explore between here and here. So just watch like this. I lean a bit further to the side. I turn the head so I'm looking at the inside of my right leg and I can do those contractions again together or separately. And that now makes us into a very strong levator scapulae stretch. It's absolutely exquisite. And if you can let yourself relax as I'm doing now, you'll see the shoulder we pulled further down and back, also enhancing the stretch. That's enough on this side. So I run my fingers over to my forehead like this and lift the head up with my fingers. It's just being nice to yourself. It feels very gentle to come out of the stretch that way. And let us do the second side. So I move my hips across. I'm really only sitting on the chair with one hip. I put the hand directly opposite the hip like this. Lift my chest slightly, pull the chin back slightly again. If you were to look at my spine from the side, it's quite straight now. And initially only lean the body to the side like this. I'm also moving backwards and forwards slightly to find out where I need to stretch today. And I urge you all to explore these positions like that. When Liv or I show you an exercise, it's really just a template. It's the shape of it, the form of it, how to get the forces you need and so on. But the gold comes in when you actually explore small repositionings inside that larger template. And that's what I'm about to do now. I'll reach this arm out very gently. Oh yes, I found a sore spot today. I found it by lifting my chin up, surprisingly, not by lifting it or taking it down. I lean to the side like this. Again, still just two fingers on the side of the head, but there is no great force involved here at all. I shrug the shoulder of the hand that's holding the base of the chair and let that go. Take a breath in. As I breathe out, I let the tummy go soft. And you must do it, it like this. Letting the tummy go soft supercharges the exercise. Then take another breath in and re-stretch. Oh, that's lovely. Shrug the shoulder again, move to the side, press the head into the fingers, take the fingers off the head, breathe out, breathe in again, and take the head further to the side. And now just hang there. When I say hang, I'm thinking and feeling hanging between where the fingers are holding the head to the side and where the fingers are holding the base of the chair. That whole line is I'm hanging off the base of the chair, in other words. If you want to make the stretch even stronger, then once you've done the re-stretch by drawing the head across away from that shoulder, you can use the muscles under your arm to pull the shoulder down yourself. Just watch, it's... Oh, that's massive. A bit of extra movement, then you move the whole body and head away from the hand holding the chair, that little extra bit and you've just managed to stretch yourself using the lats, in fact, to stretch trapezius and all the other muscles we're working on. It's fantastic. And then I'm going to look down at the floor slightly, like so, move the fingers around to the more to closer to the back of the head, like so, do a little contraction, and take the head further forward, lean a bit further away from the hand holding the chair, do that shoulder contraction, Make sure you're stable and lean a bit further. Take the head a bit further forward like so. Turn and look at the inside of the left leg. Press the head back in the direction I'm pointing my finger and take the head both forwards and slightly further to the sides. And you'll find that opens up this whole area hugely. And then once you're there, you can make these little movements like this 
to find out whether there's anything more you can get out of this position. Oh, that's just beautiful. Run the fingers over the head like this. Slowly lift the head up. Sit back in the center of the chair. And to finish off, I always do the same things. I just wriggle the shoulders around, shrug them strongly a couple of times, pull them down, and then look all the way around as far behind me as I can. Slowly come back and all the way around this side as far as I can. And I'm a bit tight today, but I, can, I know that I can see as far behind me on this side now as I can on the other side. And so that's it. Um, please play with this operative word play and let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you.